And we see a lot more crashes anytime there's snow and ice. Those conditions, though, also make it harder for first responders to respond safely. CAFKV's Emily Goodell spoke to law enforcement today. Emily, Yakima is expected to get around a foot of snow. How are the conditions there so far? It is really cold right now and the snow continues to come down. You can see it right here and I can see my own breath when I talk. But really, it's bad for the first responders because with the road conditions being so bad, they're having a hard time getting to where they need to go and they have more calls than usual. It gets a little frustrating for deputies that they can't get to places quickly, especially if there's an emergency um, or if we have to go to a collision where there's an injury. Deputies say they're getting plenty of calls for traffic accidents, mainly caused by people driving too fast for the road conditions. County roads, the speed limit is 50 miles an hour unless otherwise posted. But, you know, if there's three, four five inches of snow, that's not appropriate. You need to slow down to an appropriate speed so that you can drive safely that you don't go off the roadway. Yakima police are seeing more crashes as well, but they're also looking at an increase in domestic violence calls. The domestic do increase when we have more people inside, especially around the holidays when they come in from out of town. Police say since their operations are already slow due to the snow, they really need people to pay attention to sirens and flashing lights. It doesn't matter if it's coming at you or going away or coming from the side. Once you recognize that's the case, you need to pull over to the right and stop. First responders say that small amount of time might make the difference in saving a life, especially for fire trucks and ambulances. It could be something very minor that they need to go to, but it also could be somebody who's having a heart attack or a stroke. It's so important that you get out of their way so that they can get to where they need to go. Our meteorologists tell me that we could be seeing up to a foot of snow overnight here in Yakima County, and it's looking like it's going to do it right now. If you see it, it's still coming down. And first responders are saying with the road conditions, they're still going to be bad overnight, so you should take your time, slow down, plan ahead, and stay home if you can. Reporting live from Sela in Yakima County, Emily Goodell, Cap Cave U, Local News.